Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be looking at extending and matching colours of an image using some collage tissues. So this is a piece of collage tissue from Natalie May called um, Strength in Numbers and there are four images on this sheet that have sort of got half a partial images from the page. And you can see it's got um, some really saturated colour on this um, image as well as sort of the whites of it. So that's the reason why I've put some gesso behind this page in particular um, because I wanted to make sure that the face and the decolletage of the lady stayed that white colour and then you had the bright colours around it. So I'm just gluing it down using my gel medium. I did decide to chop off that little bit of pink on the edge but I am going to use that as an inspiration to draw in her um, shirt or a dress or a top or whatever she's got there. So I'm just having a look at the image and drawing in where the um, hair should be on the page and where her shoulders should sh sit on the page. I chose turquoise for her hair because you can see that sort of turquoisey greeny colour um, from the printing so what I'm trying to do is with my acrylic paints I'm trying to mix the same colour so I'm working wet on wet um, you can see sort of adding colours as I need to go adding a little bit of darkness so I start off with turquoise I think I'm adding a little bit of ocean here painting over the printed colours trying to blend it in trying to put a little bit of texture into it as well I'm also having a go at mixing some of my own colours, so I don't do this very often, so I quite enjoyed the challenge of trying to match that darker blue from the printing um, to try and bring it all together. And that's what this is all about. So quite often um, in the past, and it's something I do with the kids at school, is I will chop out a small part of a magazine image or it could be um, take a photo of students at school and give them half of their face and get them to draw the other half and match it up and match up the skin tones and match up the colour of their uniform and so on. So I have always found and certainly when I've been working with the students in my class they have tended to find having some of the image there has been helpful particularly when you're you know, not skilled at doing, say, proportion of faces or where things need to be. Um, ha by having some of the image there, it gives you where the hair should be or how big the hair should be or how much further up that you need to extend the hair so it doesn't look strange. If I tried to draw that out myself, it could have ended up looking quite strange, um, certainly a lot more whimsical than this lovely strong image that I've got here. So having an image to help shape your work is really handy, particularly when you're still practicing drawing faces and figures like I am. I did go in with a blue intense pencil. Usually I'd use a um, black Stabilo oil pencil, which I'm now using, but I chose to go start with a blue um, intense pencil because the printing on this sheet was blue so I wanted to try and replicate the colours as much as possible so I could have a bit of a seamless look with the page and already you can kind of see by painting in the rest of that hair I've kind of um, you know blended it in a little bit. With the Stabilo oil pencil I'm just um, water activating it to get a little bit of bleed and um, wicking again to add a little bit more texture to the page and gluing down a little bit that have pop, has popped up in the corner. Then I decided to go in with a bit of a contrasting colour so I've got this really strong pink colour and again the reason I chose that was because I cut off that little bit of purpley pink at the top of her hair and she's obviously got those purpley undertones in the shadows in her face so I wanted to use something similar that would blend in together. And again, when you're sort of using images like this, take inspiration from the image or from um, the colours on the image to help you choose the colours. It might be for the background that you're putting it on or um, for the lettering that you're going to add to it, you know, help 
the image itself make the decisions for you. Because it did have those greeny undertones as well, particularly down beside her neck, I've got my Stabilo Woody in a dark green colour to blend that in as well, um, to add a little bit more depth of that green colour to it. And now I'm just faffing around really, playing around with the image and the hair, trying to get that right. So it's not very realistic, um, but I was really pleased with how it was going. I was pleased with how it sort of blended together. The fact her hair looked quite is it voluminous. That doesn't sound right. Um, large, <laughs> buffy. <laughs> um, probably a little bit more messy than, you know, she's probably been out in the wind a little bit, but I don't mind how it's ended up. Now I'm going in with my paint pen. I've just been searching for a quote on Pinterest and I've decided to write in her um, dress, uh, not dress, top, whatever that is. So I've just gone in with my paint pen and now I'm going in with my white paint pen to help pop it out from the background. It's, um, be a warrior, not a warrior, which um, again is something that I need to say to myself quite often because I tend to worry about things and I just need to be strong and do it. And I think the strength in her face and the fact that she looks very determined with what she's going to do helped me pick that quote as well. Finally, I'm going in with some of the um, Sterling Gloss Spray just to give her a little bit of starlight and a little bit of twinkle. I'm also going in with some of the gilt. So she's got these metallic um, splatters over her face. I did get some on her face. Usually it doesn't really bother me, but I did actually end up wiping it off because I didn't want her to have um, freckles on her face. And I'm going in and heating it. So when the silver in particular goes on, it's very, very white. Um, it does end up being a beautiful silver or pearlized silver color. Um, and you can see that in the close up. So you can see here, so the texture in her hair, you can sort of see where the printing's gone and how I've tried to match up the colours with the blues and the greens. And overall, while you can still see a little bit of that original image or where it has been stuck down on the page, I've tried to match it as much as possible so it blends into the page. So I hope you have a go at trying an activity like this. It's lots of lots of fun and until next time, bye for now.